I'm going to be comparing some really top-end water ionizers today. Um, I There's actually four ionizers here. I know that's probably hard to see, but there's uh, the Nexus uh, 7P Smart Ionizer. Behind it is the Athena, Jupiter Athena. Uh, this one is the Enagic SD501. And uh, the one on the left looks like a countertop water ionizer, and it is. It's actually a very pretty countertop ionizer, but it's uh, the Delphi Under Sink water ionizer that comes with a beautiful chrome faucet that goes on your sink. Uh, but I'm, I've, it can also operate as a countertop ionizer, and I've got it as that right now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pour water from both the uh, the two end ones, the Athena and the Smart, I mean, uh, and the Delphi. Hold on, let me get that water flowing here. Okay, so um, I'm just checking out the flow rate to make sure that looks good. And we've got the, uh, I'm just going to put the samples just right here. Here's the Athena on the right, and I'm going to get a sample from the Delphi now. Okay. So now, these two machines are virtually the, the same uh, they're from the same manufacturer and they use the same water cell so they theoretically should be the same the um, the difference I think the biggest difference in these two machines today is that the Athena which is in the far end there is um, <clears throat> several years old close to five years old and then the Delphi is brand new I'm just testing it okay so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, water, I have these two pouring. Okay. Okay. I have this one kind of delicately balanced. Excuse me because it's kind of sitting on the edge of my sink. So then, this one is for the Smart 7P, and this one is the Magic, also a 7-plate model. Okay, so now, I'm just going to first just check the ORP, which is your antioxidant levels. And I'll just uh, start here with the Athena. And um, that, that is uh, really good <laughs> for antioxidants. It's like a, oh, close to a negative 700, or actually higher. So I'm very, I, for this is a five-year-old machine, <laughs> so and I, you know, one thing about it is I never have to clean it because it's got continuous cleaning, so I just, you know, can't say enough about it. But it looks like it's going to go up to negative 800 ORP. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, so that's uh, that's the Athena. Okay, and I'm just rinsing off the probe. Excuse me. And now I'm going to stick it in the next one over, which is the Smart 7P. And um, this one is um, brand new and just came out in uh, 2015. It's a brand new Nexus model. And oh my gosh. And it's got continuous cleaning. Um, wow. I'm. <laughs> very amazed at this so that's just that's just tremendous it, it looks like it's probably going to equal the Athena which it, which I'm I'm very surprised to see actually okay so, so put 
that one, rinse that off now. Okay. Now the next one is the Enagic. And um, this is uh, multi marketed with multi-level marketing. Pretty good water ionizer. Um, but, you know, it's not quite as good as the other two. It, um, it does not use continuous cleaning. And I can tell you, just after testing hundreds and hundreds of water ionizers, that that is the reason why it doesn't perform quite as well. Although, I mean, you can see that it's performing very well. So, um, it's, it's going to go over 700. It is over 700, but does doesn't look like it's going to make it up as high as the other ones. That's about that on that. So it, it's it's definitely um, good uh, for sure and, and almost equal. Let's call it almost equal. All right. So now uh, the last uh, one is the Ultra Delphi, which theoretically should be the same as the Athena since it does have the same water cell. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking that um, it uh, all th all four of these I might I might actually call all four um, equal <laughs> because they're all so good. But um, it's it's um, it's really it, these are really high quality machines, so. I, I don't have any poor quality machines that I'm testing today. <laughs> just, just these are the high-end ones. And that does not necessarily mean the highest price either. Because um, and it, it will probably go up higher than this, but that's all I'm going to do. Alright, so now um, the, the, the pH is most likely identical. But I will do a real quick um, put, put pH drops in each sample just to see if they all turn the exact same color or, or, or is any one of them. One, two, three drops in each one. So, I mean, they, they, they look like about as identical as uh, one can get for color. I'll, I'll kind of swish them a little bit just to make sure. And honestly, I well, here's the color chart. It, it does, I mean, there isn't, there isn't a color on, on the color, particular color chart that matches them other than maybe that 10. I'm going to say. So um, th that's the uh, testing today and I'll, I'll do more but I'm doing just a lot of testing between especially um, working on the uh, promoting the new Nexus model because that is the, um, the lower price but it's certainly as you can see here is is uh, right up there equal in quality. So I wanted to point that out. Okay, thank you.